Welcome back to another episode of Gris. This is the GSE with the Core Gaming Channel. I think this is now episode four, and in the last episode we discovered the color green after going through um, what seemed like sorrow and sadness and depression. So I'm kind of see curious to see what kind of emotional journey it'll take us on uh, in this episode. So let's jump back into it and see where green takes us. Oh, the arrow is just so beautiful. Uh, it's definitely controlling it for me. I have zero control over what it's doing right now. Alright. Am I supposed to go this way? Is there a way to go to the right? So one thing about this game is still, again, around the point of just... Okay, so I can't go to the right at all. Um, it doesn't really hand handhold you at all, so you just kind of have to figure out and hope that you're doing the right things. Oh, I love the, the dust off of the, the feet. This looks familiar. Oh, did it take my stars away again? Okay, so this must be the temple I was at before. It just took away my stars, which is kind of disappointing. Um, because it means I gotta find new ones to be able to get around the map, but that means I can also get to this next area of this. Oh. So it keeps showing me these things, and I don't really know what it's meant for. Hmm, still no real voice. Panning outward. Why? Why are my butterflies being evil? Mm. Mm, goodness. Guess I'm just gonna jump, see what happens. I scared a lot of little rock creatures. Mm, can't go any further. So it's very nature, very um, animals and ambient noises of just birds and oh cute little seed creatures huh look at these like leaves that are panning across the screen and like probably like three or four tiered like overlays very cool so now red and green are very much tied together break anything. I always end up regretting when I do break stuff. I do like with green there seems to be less harshness in um, the uh, Trying to think of the right word. Uh, the less harshness in kind of like how. Um, see, red is very like straight, straight, you know, straight lines. The 
green, it's a lot less of that straight lines, less harsh lines, it's more kind of soft lines. Uh oh. off but okay so there's no way of going back that seems to be a, a common trend it's like once you get somewhere there's no going back the way you came and a lot of leaps of faith you just gotta have to take lots of leaps of faith hoping you don't but, uh, granted I haven't seen any real death in this game, but you just kind of have to jump. There's that little seed thing that's... oh. Wow. It's really cool. Very moldable. Green is definitely an interesting color so far. It's like more fluid. Can I keep going? Okay, so there is a... So... Can I go this way? What's the point of going over here? So you can still go further up, but why would you go further up? Oh, there's a way to go down. Was I supposed to go down? Is that a square apple he just ate? Hi, buddy. Alright, ignore me. Oh. Run! Nope. Scared. Ah, oh, this part is so pretty. I don't know. Everything in this game. <laughs> Scared him. Exactly. Hey, little guy. Look at all these little apple cores on the ground. Why are you following me? Oh, go back this way. There's a core. Entirely certain that I was supposed to come down here already. Oh, there's an apple down there. Did I just give him an apple? That's what I'm supposed to do, huh? I'm supposed to give him apples. That's really cute. Go over here, over here and do that. Oh no. Screwed up. I did something. Zooming in. I made the little guy happy. Hi. <laughs> Aw, cute little friend. Oh. Something down here, huh? Come on, little guy. What? He's 
got like magic powers? Alright, not sure where I'm going. But I'm going. Me and my cute little friend here. So, he's gonna have to stay down there, I imagine. Can I break this? Hmm, what was the purpose of breaking it, though? What? He's up there? Here's an apple for you, buddy. Good job. Weird square apple, but... Ah! He copied me! Is there, like, is this an apple right here? doing now okay so I can give him another apple right here there you go little, little guy oh goodness um and I can go over here and do the same thing together again. Let's go together, buddy. <laughs> He's just rolling. Hey, here's an apple, little guy. Yeah. Little guy. Oh, you okay? I'm not sure why I'm feeding this little creature, but I kind of like it. She gave him a name. Okay, zooming in. Oh, something here. What is this? There's something there. I feel like that's... Do I not have what I need to, to get that secret? Hmm. Oh, look! There's more! Hi, guys! Oh, well. I think I found his family. A lot of them. Squarrington has a Squarrington family. Except they're not very square in here. These guys are more cylinder shaped. Oh! Hi, buddy! He gave me a, a star. Thank you. 
little friend. Okay, so I found one star. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to do what I need to at this other place though. I think I required having two stars to be able to do whatever this is. Okay. So I imagine the other star must be this way. Oh. I need one more star to get this power. Oh. So I can't do all my hopping around that I'm used to doing because that dramatically affects the world now. That's so cool. That's very game changing for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this game. Okay. Let's figure this out. Yes. Got it. All right. And there's a save point over here that I screwed up in getting to. Hmm. The best way to get to this thing, I wonder. I don't see an easy way to get to that save point. Okay, well... I'm not going to worry about that save point right now. I really want the, the other thing down here. Oh no, I have to. Okay, I see what I have to do. To go up and over. Gotcha. There we go. Now I have two stars, I should be able to utilize whatever, I guess, gift potentially I will receive back at this temple. Alright, can I do it? I have like a float oh okay so now when I jump I can double jump with a float yeah that's so cool okay wow that's really neat actually like it gives you not only the double jump but then it also gives you this like floating aspect to go with it so that after you do your double jump it like glides you uses her um her cloak I guess oh no okay there we go I definitely have to double jump to get to this other area. It also gives you a little extra, like, push. 
Oh, and if there's butterflies, it, it launches you. How cool. Okay. There's like a lot to this ability. So butterflies give you extra momentum upwards if you have them around you when you do your double jump. And then the double jump itself is a significant addition to the game as far as um, the amount of things I can now do and accomplish. Okay, so see the butterflies, butterflies, jump! It's so cool. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that one's gonna be tricky. You gotta, you gotta jump and then do your double jump at like the right time. That's interesting. So it's really starting to teach you some next level mechanics here. And see, like, without, it didn't have to give you this very elaborate tutorial to do it either, which I find fantastic. It teaches you through just kind of smart gameplay philosophies. So I gotta hit this. Very nice, okay. I think I gotta go up again. So amazing. Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, perfect time. I found a save point. So I'm going to go and stop it right here. Uh, thank you for watching this episode. I feel like we accomplished a lot. This hasn't been... I don't feel like I have a theme for this one. I feel like exploration is the theme. Kind of life is the theme. Um, kindness, maybe. Uh, I feel like there's an emotional something that I'm supposed to be getting out of each part of this game. Along with the scenery. It seems like life, vibrant, uh, caring, um, something. So... Uh, thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it like I have. And hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. You should see on screen some other options if you're curious. Hopefully you'll like, subscribe, and continue to follow me on this journey. Hope you have a great day.